Hi, it's Thursday again, and today we're going to take an encounter with a text. And we're going to be looking at rebus stories, Heidi. Rebus stories, that is a very interesting kind of text. You might even call it a multimodal text. Because what you do is you actually you put pictures into the text instead of words. So you substitute the words for pictures? Yes. Oh. And what you can do, why that is good, because you can then focus in on certain elements of vocabulary. Mm. It can be used for repetition or uh, revision. And research has shown that if you put pictures into the text, pupils, students seem to re retain the vocabulary more. You know, that reminds me of Alice in Wonderland, where she says, what good is a book without pictures? Mm. Now, <laughs> we looked at emojis earlier on last um, season when we were looking at how to make a story with emojis. Mm -hmm. I've got here a text for you to read, Heidi. It's okay. a rebus story. And some of the words are being substituted with pictures. So can you read the story? It's time for fall. In the fall, the leaves on the trees change colour. OK, and then the word leaves was substituted with the picture leaves. That's right, and there's more than one leaf, and so therefore I knew it was leaves, just like there's more than one tree, so I knew it was the plural trees. Jeez, good, OK. The leaves need the sun to make sugar, and in the fall, the sun sets early. Soon the leaves turn brown, not square. No. <laughs> Soon the leaves turn brown and fall off the tree onto the ground. The air starts to turn cold and the wind blows. Squirrels begin to collect acorns and find a place to sleep for the night or the winter. Because I'm not sure if this is meaning stars for the night or snowflakes for the winter. Okay. So as you can see... Many of the words have been substituted with pictures, and these pictures can be words that you're maybe re revising. Or learning, mm -hmm. new vocabulary. Exactly. And you know, it would be very interesting for students to take text, they would write a short text themselves, and then give it to another student, and then they would pick out certain words and put in pictures instead, because then you're becoming, the text is becoming interactive. Yes. And one person is writing and another person is reading as you're integrating different basic skills. Kids together, yes. So that's cool. Um, do you have a rebus text for them to read? Yes. At the end of the episode, we'll show you another rebus text that you can try and read yourselves.